Hello, everyone. Today we wanted to celebrate May the 4th uh, by watching Dune Part 2, the official trailer. How are you doing today, Brian? I am doing great. It is May the 4th, so it has been Star Wars all day uh, for me here. Uh, anyways, I watched uh, through all nine of the Visions episodes. I've uh, bought a bunch of merchandise from uh, Shop Disney and uh, Hasbro and all that stuff. So uh, May the 4th is going pretty good for me. But yeah, we had a, a pretty a uh, pretty major uh, reveal this week with the Dune trailer. And as if you remember back to when the first Dune came out, we almost turned this into a Dune podcast. Uh, yeah. Cassia tried really hard to do that, <laughs> but uh, we, we stuck with Star Wars for now. But we are uh, going to be talking about Dune Part 2 a little bit right now. Yeah, so we thought it would be fun to react to the trailer. I've seen it once, but you're going in blind, right? Yeah, uh, completely blind. I have spent too much time out in the uh, out in the sand in the bright sun, so I have not seen it yet. So I'm uh, going to be watching it for the first time and uh, giving my thoughts here. Well, spoiler alert, like you were you had too much sand and sun like but in this one, there is sand and hot sun. So, oh, uh, oh. yeah, <laughs> June, you know, kind of inspired Star Wars. So it kind of makes sense to have a trailer on May the 4th. But are you ready to start it? I am ready to start it. All right, three, two, one, punch it, Chewy. It's breathtaking. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, you can't reach the bottom. You dive in. <laughs> That's the culture. It looks, it looks very, uh, very epic in scope there. The desert. Yeah. In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets. Oh. The darkest of them all may remain. I like Lawrence that little wicker, wicker sidecar. That was pretty cool. Yeah. What if all the treaties were still alive? It's like we're got everyone back here. Yeah. Oh, I like that little water bottle. That was pretty cool. She's probably giving birth right there. Have you ever had a yeah, probably. Denny Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. There's that thumpy thing. Uh, that's how you get the sandworms. <laughs> yeah. This was teased in the first movie. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to kind of build up to that moment. It would be really hard to run in sand like that. On a side yeah. Note. <laughs> it's hard enough just to run, you know? <laughs> True. True story. Quote from the book. Oh. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Is he going to ride that worm? Oh. Yeah. Helicopters. Yeah. That I almost like that. looks like black and white. Ooh, kissing. I... <laughs> it did look black and white. It looked like Gladiator, and then it looked, yeah, it was in black and white. That's strange. We gave them something to hope for. May thy night ship bring shatter. There's a whole bunch of people okay. in that movie. That is a that is November that 3rd. is a that is a bunch of people for sure. Okay. Well, that was the Dune trailer. Um that looks pretty good. So, um if you remember back to like I said like I was uh you know joking about we uh <laughs> talked about Dune a couple of episodes. I think Plo Cool was on those episodes with us and uh we we were pretty into Dune. Uh Cassie, I know that you'd read the book several times and were very hyped about the movie and the movie was great. Um, yeah. And yeah, this is definitely something, you know, we're both looking forward to. I'm I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Part one was kind of the beginning of like uh, a Hebrew's journey. Uh, but part two, it's kind of like you kind of get to see like maybe that's not a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of like avenging his father. Like, uh, is that something he should do? Um, like what's the best thing for the galaxy? Is he thinking about that? What's the best thing 
for Rackus. And uh, I, I think the part that stood out to me the most is when his mother tells Paul, uh, we gave them something to hope for. And he said, that's not hope. And then like, kind of like after that, you see like Paul kind of like addressing like crowds of thousands, like kind of mm. leaning into like that uh, savior kind of uh, story. And mm -hmm. so I, I don't know. It's just fascinating. Like lots of philosophical and personal questions like are addressed in Dune and to see it in a movie uh in a story like i think it could get people thinking and it could be interesting yeah absolutely because that's kind of a big theme uh for the first film the first book is you know paul's you know kind of uh you know speaking with his father about how you know he doesn't want to lead and then you know that's something that you get put in the position to do and then you either rise to do it or or you don't so it'll be interesting to see how um you know how he kind of you know handles that responsibility i guess and uh that uh position of uh power i think is was like there was an abraham lincoln quote that says you know to find the true character of a uh, man is to put him in a position of power so yeah i think that that's going to uh be a really interesting kind of part two of of this story and it'll be interesting to see how much more world building gets done you know are we all out um in the desert now we're pulled away from the city are we going to get um more of those stories is this really going to focus in on uh paul and johnny or um yeah i don't know yeah uh let us know what you thought down below and uh on this may the fourth may the spice flow <laughs>